To test which background remover is free and best, we have two examples. Number one is a complex one with complex hair, very complex background, also spokes of the bicycle, making it very hard to separate the background from the subject. But not always we have a complex image like this. So we also have a simple image for some qualifying platforms. So without any further ado, let us start with the first one, which is Pixian.ai. Once you drop your photo here, you will notice that there's a size limit of 0.25 megapixels. Let us do it anyway. With the image ready, let's download it. So opening it side by side in Photoshop, you will see the quality is absolutely unusable. While the original image has a resolution of 7,008 pixels width, this one is only 612. And once you put it in a solid background, you will notice even the mask quality is just terrible. It leaves out a lot of areas absolutely disqualifying this platform. Now, since we are on macOS right now on an Apple computer, why not take advantage of it? Did you know that you can just right click on a photo, quick actions and here remove background and it automatically creates an image with the background removed. But I have a feeling that this is not going to be so good. Although the quality is not bad, the masking is just terrible and unusable. So reject it anyway. We have our popular Canva background remover. Let's drop in our photo here. Now it's gonna ask you to create an account. Let me quickly do that. And now that I've created the account, it's removing the background. And I have to say, it did a pretty good job. It kept the spokes, looks pretty okay. But when you try to download it, have a look. It's not letting me increase the size. As soon as you try to do that, it's asking you to subscribe. And the resolution is quite low. Let us try one more time. Only 800 by 600. Also, if I wanted a transparent background, let's check it. The download button goes away. What trickery is this? Even though it says one free use. Once I've created the account, if I try to remove the background of any other image, one more time, it will ask you to subscribe. So this is not free. Let's disqualify it. Next, we have the direct competitor to Canva, Adobe Express. Let's drop our photo here. It's taking a while. It didn't ask me to sign up, didn't ask me for any payment, none of that. You can directly download it. And if I were to open the Adobe Express file in Photoshop, have a look. It's the same resolution. The original one, 7008. This one also 7008. Although the masking may not be absolutely accurate, but let's put it on a solid background. Here's the advantage. It did retain the original quality. However, the masking definitely needs work. It didn't get the spokes right, but hey, you have the full quality and it's free, it's unlimited. And no matter how many times I uploaded a photo, it didn't ask me to pay, although it may ask you to sign up. So let us upload the simple example and it does feel like it is usable. Here's the resolution of the original one. And here's the one masked with Adobe Express, same resolution. And the masking is pretty usable. The next one on the list is Cut Out Pro. Let's drag and drop our photo here. Right now it is processing. Let's see what it does. It did get some of the spokes, but have a look, only 612 by 408 pixels. That is hilariously low resolution. Let us try to download it. Definitely you have to pay for HD quality. Either way, let's compare it. Here is the original one. And here's the one with Cut Out Pro. Only 612 pixels width. And the quality is just unusable. Let's disqualify it. Now I do understand that Photoshop is a paid platform, but it is one platform that does it all and does it best for most of the cases. Don't worry, we are going to talk about background removers that are free. However, this video is sponsored by Piximperfect Pro. If you want to master Photoshop from start to finish and beyond without ever getting confused, do definitely check out Piximperfect Pro. We have hundreds of lessons that help you not only master the techniques, but also the concepts. So you never have to worry about memorizing the steps. We learn through real world hands-on projects, bite-sized tutorials, and we also take pride in great support should you have any questions for any of the lessons. Even if you have not made up your mind for mastery yet, do check it out at piximperfect.com to not only see what is included, but also learn how each lesson is structured and maybe even get a few freebies. Check the link in description for more details and offers. Back to the video, the next platform is very popular, Remove PG. Let's drop our photo here. There you go, it seems to be done. Let us download it and again, we have the same problem. For the max quality, you need to pay. Let us download the preview. Now, as we open this in Photoshop, this is also absolutely unusable. Although it seems to get the hair nice, have a look at the spokes. It did get the spokes, but with that, it also got a little bit of the background. It could still be usable if we paid for it, but still, then what is the point at looking for free background removers? Here is the original one, full high resolution. Here's the one with remove BG, although this seems to be better than some of the previous ones, but still the resolution just takes a major hit. And to top it all off, if you look at the pricing, three credits cost $3. And every time you remove a background, it's gonna cost you a dollar. Yes, there are other plans, but charging per background removal, when you have an option like Photoshop where you can do it unlimited, just seems 
not so okay with me. The next platform is AI Ease that should easily remove the background. Let's drag and drop our photo. Let's see if this is a winner. This seems okay. Didn't get all the spokes right, but still let us download it. And then again, if you try to download, it's only giving you the low resolution option for free, but still 1024 is better than the previous ones that were only giving 600 ish. Let us continue for free. And again, we have to make an account. Let's do that. Not a big deal. Here for comparison, here's the original one. And here is AI Ease. The quality is better than the previous ones and maybe usable for some of the cases, but still the spokes are crazy. But maybe for simple examples, we can kind of use this. Let us upload this one. Here's the soft toy. And I have to say, this looks pretty darn clean. Let's try to download it, low res. And if I were to open this in Photoshop and put it on a solid background, this is not bad actually. Although the resolution is much smaller, but it's still respectable and we can actually use this. The next platform is pixelcut.ai. Let's drag and drop our photo here. And I have to say this looks good and it also got some of the spokes, but we'll see when you download it. 1080 by 720, still respectable. And if I were to open this in Photoshop, it's not bad. Quite usable, although it has sharpened it a bit. It did get some of the spokes, can be usable. Let us try the simple one. Here it is in Photoshop, the pixel cut version. And I have to say, this is pretty good. Even if you zoom in even more, this can be very nicely usable. I know there's a resolution limitation, but so far, this one and AIEs seem to be pretty respectable. Although Adobe Express does give you full resolution, the masking is just not as good. Time for us to move to the next platform, Pixel R. Let us drag and drop our photo. Well, that didn't work. Let us select the photos. Actually, you can select multiple photos. Click on open. And it did it instantly. Let us save it all. Let's open them up in Photoshop. I'm going to put it in a solid color background. Now, what I like about this is that the resolution, although not full, is quite high at 4096. But as soon as you zoom in, you will notice that the masking is very, very soft not so usable. Even though the resolution is high, if the masking is not sharp, what is even the point? Let us look at the complex example. See, it's very soft. It did get higher quality. Have a look, 4096 pixels again with the resolution, but it did leave out a lot of areas, added some more areas, didn't get the spokes right. This is what it is. It is not as bad, but let's disqualify it anyhow because there are other better ones. The next one is Photo Room. Let's start with the complex one. Now, the thing with Photo Room is that, oh my gosh, it did get the spokes very, very good. Let us try to download it. There is a standard resolution. That's okay. It's still respectable. Now, as we compare this in Photoshop, this seems to be so far the best. This is Photo Room. Although the resolution is not full, it's still 1280. And if we zoom in just a little, it is usable and it also did get most of the spokes. And if we were to try in the simple example, even this, when compared, this is the photo room result, is pretty darn usable. Pretty good too. And here's the final platform, erase.bg. Let us test it, drag and drop our photo. Now here's the problem. It's not gonna allow anything wider than 5,000 pixels. Our image is 7,008. So I'm not sure whether I wanna use this platform, but let's give it the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna open this in Photoshop, a paid platform, export it in 4,800 pixels width, and let's see if it accepts it now. Any modern photo has usually 6,000 by 4,000 pixels. If you take a photo with a regular camera these days. So thankfully it has finally processed. Let's download. Wow, the preview image is much higher by the way. And if I were to open this in Photoshop and add a solid background, here's the original one. Here's erase.bg. The quality, the resolution is much higher definitely, but the masking, yeah, it's not that good, but still better than many of the platforms that we tested. The only limitation is the uploading process. I was wondering if I were to sign up and create a free account, Will it let me download the full resolution or higher resolution? Now I have created a free account with them and it's allowing me batch mode. If I click here, I can upload multiple photos at once. So I'm just gonna upload these two photos, add transformation, remove background, and it does give you option whether it's for e-commerce, car, human, anything. For a change, let us pick human for that matter, apply. Now I do see that there are some limitations. There are some free credits that you get after which it's no more free anymore. I've lost all credits, let's download anyway. PNG, two files. Now, once I open these in Photoshop, the resolution is much higher, but the masking isn't, again, as good. Even with the second one, the simple example, actually, this can be usable. 
And even the resolution is quite good. Now we have tested a lot of platforms and we will compare the good ones side by side. But before we do that, I just wanted to share with you Photoshop for some perspective to set a standard. But know that once you have it, it's all unlimited, unlike many of these platforms that charge you per credit. So in here, if I just click on remove background in the latest version of Photoshop, just have a look at the quality. This is all unlimited and it did get all of the spokes right. If we were to put it in a solid background, Let's put a gray background, put it under and just have a look. I know this is not perfect, but oh my gosh, is this not the best? It's crazy, crazy good. And it definitely does maintain the exact same resolution and you can do it as many times as you wish. Plus you have options to adjust the edge, remove the halos, change the background, create new edges. And so Photoshop is the industry standard for a reason. And if you do want to get just the basics right, I have some free videos that you can watch. I'm gonna link that up in the description. Here's what you've been waiting for, all of the standard qualified results side by side with their respective resolutions. If you just look at the output resolution, Erase BG has the highest with 3600 width. And then you have Photo Room at 1280 and AI Ease and Pixel Cut at around 1080 and 1024, quite similar. Now let's zoom in and have a look at the mass quality. If you look at the spokes, you will notice that the one that got it best was Photo Room. After that, you can say Pixel Cut, did get some of it. And then finally, AI Ease and Erase BG are quite similar. Now let's take a look at the hair. Now this is where the quality starts to differ. If you just look at the resolution, Erase BG is definitely the best. But if you look at the masking, Photo Room did the most balanced job here. It seems like the most usable right here. However, this one seems to be way more over sharpened. And these ones have a very soft mask. Now, since we found Photo Room the most balanced, I'm going to compare it with two more options. So here's the Photo Room on the right hand side. In the middle, we have Adobe Express, which does give you the full resolution, but the masking is nothing in compared to Photo Room. And then you have the Photoshop, which is a paid platform, but this is like really incredible. Just have a look at this, folks. Crazy, crazy good. Now, if you were to zoom into the hair, now, although Photo Room is lower in resolution, it did do a balanced job with the hair. Adobe Express also did pretty good, although it didn't get all the spokes right, but the hair, it's good. And then you have the OG Photoshop. Now, which one was the best platform? I leave that decision to you. If you're looking for a free background remover, Photo Room did give the most balanced result in terms of both resolution and the masking quality. And you can check it out at Photo Room or whatever the website is. I'll leave the link in the description as well. If you're looking for a background remover and also a lot of other things, and you're willing to pay a little bit, Photoshop is a great, great alternative because it not only gives you unlimited background removals, but the ability to change the background, change the edges, remove the halos, and a million other possibilities. Literally, nobody, nobody does it better. And if you're looking for a free trial, I'll also leave a link right here and also in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks, or tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. I am strolling along, just minding my business, humming a song. I'm happy by myself, not a care in the world. This is the life.